So again, one way to download the Chrome driver is to use that NuGet package manager here in NuGet packages and then you search for Chrome driver. Now there is one issue with this which I did not notice before and that's why I showed you guys this and I actually have been using it until I myself arrived at a problem. The issue here is that look at this Chrome driver it is version 2.1.0 okay that is the latest version here but if we type in Chrome driver in Google uh, Chrome driver download and then go to the Chrome driver download home page we can see here that the latest release is Chrome driver 2.19 so that means that that NuGet package is quite a little bit behind and that's actually going to cause us some problems which is how I came across the issue was because I started having very strange errors and the error that I was having I can actually show you guys so if I go to my test base class here initialize so rather than this We'll use the Chrome driver from the package, NuGet package manager. So that's utilizing that. And so now I go back to my test and run it. And you guys can see right here, my test failed already. It didn't even start. It only opened up this uh, command prompt for Chrome driver. And if we look at the error, we can see that test method QTP test dot blah 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 run test through exception system the type initialization exception the type initializer for framework dot browser through an exception system dot invalid operation exception unknown error unrecognized blink revision blah 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 so when I googled this error I googled let me actually catch this error so let's debug and let me rerun test but debug and debug will actually allow me to catch the exception here in real time and then you guys will see what I can do with it so there we go got this exception of type system dot exception and then I went to Google and I googled this exception and I figured out that the problem is that my old Chrome driver version of 2.1 is too old for my browser. So at some point while working with this, my Chrome driver automatically updated and now my NuGet package is out of date and it cannot keep up with the latest Chrome driver. And so now I randomly started getting these failures, which were really frustrating because I'm like, what the hell is going on? Everything was working before, but now it's not working anymore. So therefore, you need to apply the same idea to the Chrome driver as for Firefox. And first of all, make sure that it doesn't update automatically. Just freeze it on a certain version. And second, we just need to utilize the Chrome driver that we get from the actual Selenium Chrome driver download.